Thanks a lot. We have some new information about the virus that's a lot like polio and has caused paralysis in some children around the country. AFM has peaked, so the number of cases should go down. The CDC says there are 134 confirmed cases in 33 states, including three cases here in Georgia. 11 Live medical correspondent Dr. Suth Jothi Reddy is joining us. This is encouraging, so peaking has the you know, implies that at least it's going to trend in the right direction. Exactly right. And as you see, the rest for the rest of the year, the cases should go down. Typically, we've seen these cases go up between August and October. And, you know, this year, as you mentioned, we've had 134 cases. The other good news, I think, is if this mimics the trend it has in the last several years, we should see far less cases next year than we did this year because it seems to rise every other yeah, year. Consistently over the last five years. Yep. So hopefully that's true. Exactly. All right, we have to talk to you about another sleep study. You hear about sleep studies all the time, but typically you hear about studies that say you're not getting enough sleep. It's pretty common to hear about that, but a new study is breaking down the risk of disease and even death for those who are sleeping too much. I guess I didn't <laughs> realize there might be that such thing as too much sleep. Yeah, there really can be. Now, we've known for years that if you get less than the recommended six to eight hours, there are chronic diseases associated, things like obesity, high blood pressure. But what this study showed was for people that are getting more than eight hours consistently and still feel like they're needing more, there was an increased risk of stroke and cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. Now, the question, like you and I were talking, is, is which came yeah, first? Yeah, does the health influence the sleep pattern or does the sleep pattern influence the health? And what the researchers are saying is that perhaps if you have a heart issue or something like that it's making you more fatigued and more tired so if you're one of those people that's out there craving sleep even though you're getting plenty you may want to go to your doctor and just get a physical to make sure nothing else is going on now as a mother who loves the idea of a nap not that we get them very often <laughs> this troubles me napping is associated with an increased risk so what they found was if you got more than six hours at night and still needed a nap, then you were in this more than eight hours category, you had a higher risk. If you're getting less than six at night and napping, you are okay. Okay, so bottom line, the sweet spot is six to eight hours. You, you got it, exactly right. And if you right. feel like you need more, you should check in with your doctor. Exactly right. Okay, Dr. Sujatha Reddy.